So what time is the Roman Lord again? Any time soon. So how long do you say you're staying here for? Dunno. How long are you staying here for? I live here, mate. Are you watching the TV? Does he look like I'm watching the TV? Can I have the remote, please? Are your legs broken? It's right next to you. I don't care. If you want it, get up and get it. Station, sweetheart. I had to stay behind for a staff meeting. No, Mwah. no, it's fine. I'm, I'm here now. They were prattling on about a load of old rubbish. I needn't even have been there. So, have you two introduced yourselves? Bill, this is my eldest son, Sean. Sean, this is Phil. Right. Let me have a look at you. Oh, I missed you so which kids in, Mum? Down in Clare said hi, and that they're missing their mum. Oh, how are they? And how's life in Manchester? Life's good. Life's it's a bit different, slower, but I'm getting used to it. How are you, though? Oh, sweetheart. How's I am exhausted. And I've got a cold. Oh, I swear. Children of this generation, they don't listen. This boy, I told him to stop running in the corridor and he turned around to me and he said... Can you get us a drink? Oh, okay, sweetheart. Mum, no. Leave it, it's fine. But uh, Phil wants a drink, darling. Yeah, yeah, and if he wants it, he can go get it. Besides, it's been, what, like three months since I last saw you? We need to catch up. Too long. So, tell me about this job interview you've come down to. Ah, uh, yeah, well, basically, do you remember the company I used to work for before I moved down? <coughs> oh, it sounds a bit dry, mate. You might want to go get a drink. Funny. Fine, you could ask my mum if she would like a drink. No, no, it's okay, sure, it's okay, Phil. But Mum, you always have a hot drink when you get from work. Yeah, I know, but Phil doesn't know how to make it the way I like it. It's tea. You mean he can't make tea? Look, it's all right, I'll make mine in a bit. Okay, well, I'll have a coffee, please. Black, two sugars. Surely you can't mess it up. I don't like him. Sean, behave. He's rude and disrespectful. No, he's not. It's just that, well, it's all a bit of a shock, you know, with you coming down and... And he's not used to visitors. <laughs> visitors? One, I'm not a visitor. I'm your son. And two, I'm not going to let him make me feel uncomfortable in the house that I've grown up in. Well, of course not, darling, but... Look, just try to like... Well, look, try and get on with him, yeah? Why should I try? I'm not the one who's going to be trying to impress. For me, please. I love him. You've known him three months. Sean! Fine. I'll be good. How's your dad? <laughs> now you care about him. Oh, it's not like that. Things are complicated between me and your dad. It's not complicated. You're both just as messed up as each other. That's why you're a perfect couple. We, we, we are not good for each other. This is you. Don't be silly, because he doesn't. <laughs> you cheated on him, right? And he moves out with three kids into a two-bedroom apartment. You live here in a four-bedroom house with your new boyfriend, and you think he doesn't miss you. But he didn't just move out, did he? He moved to Manchester. Look, you may be a big man now, but I am not having this conversation with you. Fine. But you're being stupid. Sean, 
I'm your mother. Coffee, black. Two sugars. That's what you said. Thanks, Phil. So, are you still seeing Michelle? We kind of went on a break before I left for Manchester. Oh. Um, we keep in contact, but I kind of met someone else. Now, sure. Yeah. Don't you go leaving a trail of broken hearts behind you. <laughs> well, um, I'm a good-looking lad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, we told each other we weren't looking for anything serious, but I really like her. Oops. What's her name? It's Letitia. Ooh, Letitia. Sounds nice, Letitia. Letitia. So it's not a black girl's name. She is black. Oh, no, mate, you don't want her then. Oh, great. He's racist. What? What? Well, I ain't no racist. I know loads of black people. So what was that all about? You don't want none of them about. Black women. They can be really demanding, can't they? Full of attitude. Loud. It's not a bad work. I find that if you know how to treat a woman, she doesn't need to demand for anything, nor have an attitude, no matter what colour she is. Well, black women always have attitude. Yeah, that's racist. Mum, you got a racist living in the house. Sean, stop it. Look, I, look, I ain't no racist. I know loads of black people. There's nothing wrong with them. So you're just sexist to black women, is that right? What? Babe, have a word with him. Um, well, this is what he's like. He's a wind-up merchant. He's just messing with you. Yeah. Why are you messing with you, Phil? Yeah. Well, for the record, I ain't no racist. So, uh, changing the subject, uh, what would you two like for dinner? It's Wednesday, what we always have on a Wednesday. Well, I thought we might have something different, seeing as Sean's here. Do you work, Phil? No. Why'd you ask? Just wondering why after a nine till five, my mum has still got to come home and cook. Well, Phil can't cook. Can't cook? Or won't cook? Excuse you? I learned how to cook when I was 18. I'm guessing you're in your late 40s and you don't know how to cook? I don't believe that. No one ever taught me how to cook. No one taught me how to cook. I taught myself. Ahem. <clears throat> I had you in the kitchen from when you were very small. I don't know how to cook. You showed me what not to do. Cheeky. How about I cook? Oh, well. I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> Well, go on then, you know where the kitchen is. Do you remember when Dad was here? He used to cook for us every day. As soon as you would get in, dinner would be ready. And we'd always wait for you. Sean, kitchen. Oh, Sean, that was delicious. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Let me take your plate. No, 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 sit down. It's all right. You've been work all day. I'm sure Phil can handle a couple of plates. How long do you say he's here for, mate? Why? Plate. You're welcome. For the food. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Thanks, mate. I Phil. What? Don't say a word. Have you seen the bruises on my mum's arm? Yeah. Where did it happen? I just told you. Mum, I'm talking to Phil. Well? What don't I do I? What do you mean you don't know? Well, she told me. I asked her what happened. Hands? She slipped. She slipped? Yeah, that's what she said. Where? I don't know. Last week when she was shopping that day, wasn't it? <laughs> shopping? No, she didn't say she slipped. She said she got caught in the middle of two kids fighting. But I've got a problem with that, you see. Because if you look, come close, look. See that? That's way too big for a kid's handprint. That's a man's handprint. 
What are you trying to say? I'm saying a man's been putting his hands on my mother. Sean, it's not like that. Why are you talking, Phil? Sean! Phil! Sean! Phil! Sean! Phil! Look, that's enough now, stop it! I'll give you one more chance. Have you been putting your hands on my mother? Look, Don't look fucking leave me, you piece of shit! Have you been putting your hands on my mum? Look, Sean, it was an accident. He didn't mean it. What do you mean he didn't mean it? Look, let go. Let go! I'm not talking to you until you let go of him. Now, you better not fucking move. Sit down. No, Mum. What do you mean he didn't mean it? Look, it wasn't his fault. What's it his fault? Oh, Mum, don't give me that bullshit. Don't give me that I upset him crap. Ain't gonna wash. Look, please, Sean, calm down, calm down. We had an argument, it got a bit heated. Well, look, couples argue. You and Dad was together 20 years. Not once did he put his hands on you. Not once in 20 years. You've been with this prick three months and you've already got bruises. No, no, haven't it? You, you get the fuck out. Please, Sean. Mum, either he leaves or break his fucking neck. Now, look, let me talk to my son. Call you later. You ain't calling shit. Delete my mum's number. You collect your shit tomorrow. Be outside by the bins. Go on. Make Please. my day. Make my day. Please, Phil. Sean, that was uncalled for. You need to apologise to Phil. Apologise to the man who's been beating my mum. You're having a laugh. How many times has he hit you? We're not having this conversation. How many times has he hit you? Mum, don't lie to me. Sean. I swear to God, Mum. Right, now that's it, I'm calling Dad. Oh, no, you're not. Then start talking. Three times, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Listen to yourself. What kind of woman thinks it's okay for a man to beat her? It's not okay. Okay, so you ended with him then, yeah? No, it's not that simple, Sean. What do you mean it's not that simple? I'd never put my hands on my girl. Dad never put his hands on you. And you're going to let that piece of shit put his hands on you. No, I don't let him. You stay with him, you're letting him. Mum, don't do this. You're worth so much more than this. Look, look, he doesn't mean to hurt me. It's just sometimes we oh, argue stop. and he gets angry. Stop talking like that. You're not that woman. You and Dad taught me how to be a man. And never once did you say beat up your girlfriends. This isn't the first time. Three times he's hit you. In three months. Wake up. You're not in love. You're lonely. Sean, I am your mother. I know. I know. And you need to hear it. I love you, Mum. And I'm not going to sit back and watch you destroy yourself. You messed up with that, okay. But why are you punishing yourself? You know that man isn't a fraction on dads. And you're gonna keep him around because you don't wanna be by your own. No, mum. Be alone. Heal. Look enough for yourself and for your kids. What'd you say if Claire had a boyfriend beating her? Oh, don't say things like that. What? So it's okay for you but not your kids? No, it's not okay. Okay? So you're ended it then, yeah? Yeah? Yes, all right, yes. Good. It's going to be okay, Mum. Do you need me to move back in? Mm, don't be silly. Well, I am anyways. Oh, Sean, I love you. I love you too, Mum. 